Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I am continuing with my massive declutter. So I have been decluttering like a mad woman. <laughs> I feel like something in me just snapped and I needed to do a massive overhaul of my life and my closet. So here we are. Previously, I've decluttered my shoe collection and my jewelry collection. You can check out my jewelry collection declutter right here, and I will leave both the shoe and the jewelry collection declutter down in the description box as well. If you want to see my entire collection of um, various things, I will leave my collection video playlist down in the description box below. So today, we are decluttering my handbags, and just like my shoes and my jewelry, I have way too many handbags. Holy moly. <laughs> I don't even know how they fit in my little dressing room, but that's why we're decluttering. So um, before I go into that, I just want to make a little disclaimer, and I've said this in all of my declutter videos, but I never, ever, ever want anyone to feel bad watching my videos, especially something like this. I have a lot of clothes, a lot of shoes, a lot of handbags, a lot of accessories, jewelry, clothing, you name it. I just have a lot. And I've been a blogger for over eight years. So you can imagine that it's accumulated since then. And even before that, I've always been a little bit of a clothing hoarder. I just really love clothes. And fashion is honestly like my life, literally. And it is now my job. So I have much more than the average person. So I never want anyone to feel like they don't have enough of something or like they need to strive to have an abundance of all of this stuff. This is definitely not normal. Um, so I just want to point that out. You are amazing just as you are and you do not need to have a lot of material possessions to be worthy or valuable or happy. With that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it because this is a long one. Also, if you're wondering what I do with all of the stuff that I declutter, I do a variety of things. So I love to donate, I consign, I give some stuff away, and I sell on my Poshmark. If you want to check out any of my listings on Poshmark, I will leave a link to my account below. All right, so this is what we are working with. <laughs> and I promise it doesn't normally look like this, but yeah, I guess this is what happens when you have too many handbags and not enough space to store them. <laughs> if there was ever a time to do a handbag declutter, it is now. And actually, I think my last one was probably two to three years ago before we moved to um, where we live now. It's been a while. And if you thought this was bad, I have more. <laughs> Oh my gosh, um, it's blocking my way. I don't even know how I'm going to get in. This is going to be kind of hard because I really do like all of my handbags and I really hate to part with them, but also I don't need that many. Also, I should note that I will not be going through any of my like duffel bags or like travel bags, uh, wallets, anything like that. Just my fashion handbags. Okay, so I'm not really sure where to start, so let's start with the floor. This is one of my newer handbags from Kate Spade. It is really, really gorgeous. It has these really pretty rhinestones on it, lots of pearls, very feminine. I actually do wear this one all the time, so definitely going to keep it. This is my all-time favorite Kate Spade handbag. I love the color, love the pearls, love the sparkle. It's super ladylike. I have worn this more times than I can count, and it still looks beautiful. This one is also Kate Spade. Not sure if you're seeing a pattern, but I really love Kate Spade handbags. And if you're a fan as well, which more than likely you are if you're watching my um channel, then I have a whole video dedicated to my Kate Spade handbag collection that you might like. I will leave that in the description. Anyway, so this one's really pretty. I love the quilting. I love the pink. Super chic. 
definitely keeping this. This is a newer handbag from Zach Posen. Super cute. Love the color. I think this will be really fun for the spring and summertime. This is also a newer one from Radley London. This is honestly the cutest handbag ever. I love the heart. Um, just in time for Valentine's Day, <laughs> which Valentine's Day has probably already passed by the time this goes out, but it's really, really cute. This is another favorite. This one is from Review Australia. I got it years ago. It still looks brand new. It's this really beautiful kind of like nude tan color. It goes with everything and I love the petite style of it. This is also a newer edition. <laughs> it's Kate Spade and it is the heart handbag. I was looking for something for my summertime outfits and I really love the look of basket bags but I couldn't find one that I really really liked and I found this and I just had to have it. This is from a brand called House of Want. They have a lot of really fun um, like trendier handbags. I thought this was adorable. I don't normally go for tie-dye but I do love all the pastels and I love all the colors and it's just adorable. This is another pearl handbag and this style was super popular um, a few years ago but I still wear it. I love it so much. It holds a lot of stuff and it looks really cute with everything. So this is actually a gift from Too Faced <laughs> and it is a convertible um, little bear backpack or purse. I thought it was adorable. I don't usually wear this sort of thing but I don't know, sometimes I'm feeling like really fun in my outfits, so I'm going to keep it because it's really, really cute. This is a vintage beaded handbag. I believe it's from the 60s. It is absolutely stunning. I pretty much stopped <laughs> the consignment shop um, for about a year before actually purchasing this because it was a little higher in price, but I'm so glad I got it. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is also another vintage find. I love the color. I think it's really pretty. Definitely my style, so I'm going to keep this one. This is also a newer edition. This is from Kate Spade, and it was my Christmas present from my husband. I'm obsessed. <laughs> it is so beautiful. It also comes with a gold chain, but I really, really love the pearls, and this is a gorgeous black velvet. It is just stunning. This is also a newer edition, so I had been eyeing this handbag for years and years and years, and then finally I just decided to get it because it was on major sale, and I'm so glad because I have been using it for so many of my outfits. It's really really cute. This was actually a Christmas gift and I think it is so beautiful. I love all of the rhinestone details and all the pearls and of course the pearl handle. It's the perfect size for me. It's very very pretty. This is also another Kate Spade bag. I love the dainty size. It has this kind of like ladylike vintage look and I love the little lock feature as well. This is one of my latest Teddy Blake bags. I love the mauve color. It's really beautiful. This is the Kim and I did a full review on it so you can check that out if you want. I'll leave a link in the description. This is also a new addition from a brand called Gus and Violet. It's made of these really beautiful beautiful ostrich feathers, super soft, very pretty, very unique. I believe it also comes in black and you can customize um, the chain. So I have handles, but I also have a crossbody chain as well. This is from a brand called BB Taylor and it is a completely 3D floral handbag in a pink gradient. It's so cute. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. This is from a brand called Echo Suzy, and it has like a vintage look to it, almost like the Cambridge satchel. I think it's really, really cute. I love the pink and the white. I haven't really used it that much, so this one, I think I need to kind of try it out. Um, it's gonna be a maybe. This is an older one from Review Australia. I love the color and I really love circle bags like this. They have kind of like a vintage hat bag look to them and it has a really cute little um, bow keychain on it as well. This is another circle bag from Review Australia. It has these really stunning pearl details and it's in a gorgeous light pink. It's 
larger than the other one, but it's still very wearable and I love it. This is an older Kate Spade handbag and I want to say that it was actually my very first one. So the color is a little bright and I haven't worn it in a while. I did used to wear it all the time, but I don't know. This is a maybe. I feel like I should keep it just because it's my very first, um, you know, designer-ish handbag. But I don't know. What do you think? These handbags were super popular um, a few years ago, maybe like five years ago. <laughs> um, I really like it still. I always take this with me on vacation. Um, I think it's a really cute summer bag and I love the white. It goes with all my dresses. So I am going to keep this one more than likely. I also have this one. I think this was the more popular version and I think it's really cute, but I tend to gravitate toward the other one more. And I think because it's more feminine looking. Um, so this one, I'm going to think about it, but I might say goodbye. This is another Radley London handbag. It's the most beautiful shade of blush pink. It goes with everything. I really love this shape. It's very streamlined and simplistic, but also very classic. This is an oldie but goodie from Elsie Lauren Conrad. I actually still do use this one quite a bit. I think it's really cute. I love the size and it's just kind of like a classic black that looks great with everything. This is the same bag in burgundy because yes, I am one of those people that likes to buy the same thing in different colors. <laughs> but um, I do really like this one as well. I use the black one more, maybe because it's black, but I do really like this color and I think it's great for the fall and winter. This one is also a very similar shape in a beautiful gray color. It is slightly larger. I did used to wear this one a lot and I think it is really pretty and the quality is great, but I don't reach for it that much anymore. So this one's a maybe. This is from a brand called Vatkir. And I really love the color. I think it's really pretty for spring and summer. It's just kind of like a nice casual camera bag. This is a backpack from Elsie Lauren Conrad and it's definitely seen better days, but I still do really love it. So it's this really beautiful like um, champagne metallic color. The back, however, ah! so I usually take this with me to theme parks and whenever I would wear jeans, it would rub off on this. So it's kind of stained. I don't know if I can get that out, but I don't know. I'm going to see what I can do. This has been my latest go-to backpack. I've had it for years now, but it still looks really, really great. I love the neutral color. It goes with all of my outfits and yeah, no stains. <laughs> um, it's really, really cute. I love taking it with me to all the theme parks and if we're doing any sort of like traveling or anything, it's a really great companion for that. This is another one from Echo Susi and it is really, really cute. It's kind of like a little vintage inspired backpack. I think it's adorable. I haven't worn it that much because I don't really wear backpacks, but I would like to keep it because it is more of like a dressier backpack. So I'd love to have that option. Now we are actually getting into my handbag shelf. This is from a brand called Ori New York and they have some really, really beautiful handbags and the shape is very unique. I think it's super chic and elegant. Definitely going to keep this one. So this is an older handbag from Coach and I really, really love the light gray color. I think it's beautiful. It goes with a lot of different things. And even though it's older, I feel like this style is actually coming back. Not that that matters, <laughs> but I do still really like it. So I'm going to keep it. This is one of my very first Teddy Blake handbags. I love the color. I think it's really cute. Love the bow. I took it with me to New York Fashion Week and yeah, it was amazing. This is also another one from Review Australia. I love the color, so I don't wear that much green. I don't even have that much green, but I really like this for some reason. I love the vintage look. I love the bow. I think it's really cute. This is a trendier handbag from a brand called Simbano. I think it's really cute. This style was really popular last year and it's definitely different than what I normally go for, but it is really cute. Um, I'm going to think about this one. I need to see how many handbags I can fit in here first, but this is a maybe. This is another Simbano handbag. I really love the pearl strap. I love the color. It's this really gorgeous kind of like sage green color. I think it's really pretty for spring and summer. This one I actually did wear quite a bit, so 
I think I'm gonna keep this one. This is another Simbano handbag and it has this really incredible thick chain, very different, but also um, a little more trendy than what I usually go for. I do think it's really pretty. You can change out the strap if you'd like. This one, I think I'm going to keep it, but I'm going to try it on. This one is from New Bella, and it's really, really cute. I love the little feminine details, all the rhinestones and the pearls and the little flowers and the chain. I think it is adorable. I haven't worn it that much, but I mean, everything's just kind of been stuffed in there. So um, I think I might keep this one. So I've had this one forever. I don't even remember the brand. I've never used it, um, but it is really, really cute. I love this little sparkly detail on the strap. I love the color, but I think that it's finally time for me to part with it. This is from Radley London, and it is from their Kentucky Derby collection from last year. It is so cute. <laughs> There's some roses and some mint leaves. Very, very pretty. Uh, I am definitely going to keep this. Definitely going to wear it for the Kentucky Derby this year. Not going, but <laughs> I'm going to wear it anyway. This is an iconic Kate Spade bag, and this is the bow bag. I swear, this was like the blogger it bag of 2012-2013. Um, that's when I started my first blog and when I used to follow other bloggers religiously. So, I was influenced but yeah I found this second hand absolutely love it we'll keep it but it is on the larger side so I am going to try to store some of my larger handbags up in my closet on the shelf rather than right here because there's not a lot of room. This is another Kate Spade handbag. I love all of the pearl details. I think it's really really cute. I wear this one a lot. The color goes with everything. Definitely going to keep this one. This is another oldie but goodie from Kate Spade. I think it is so pretty, it's unique, and it's just it's just different. You don't see very many handbags like this. I used to wear it all the time. I don't wear it much anymore, but I do still love it, so I'm going to keep it. This is another iconic handbag from Kate Spade. I love all the scalloped detailing. It's really, really cute. It's like a light tan with white. It is really, really large. <laughs> And I'm a really small person, so um, I am going to keep it, but I'm going to put it up in my closet. This is another Radley London handbag. I really love the color. I used to wear this one all the time. It's really great for spring and summer. Definitely going to keep it. It is a bit on the larger side as well, so I might store this one with the other larger handbags. This is an older one from Kate Spade. It's actually uh, like a canvas fabric, and it's really, really cute, very unique and it does have a little pouch right here. However, I have never actually worn it out. I have photographed it, but I've never actually worn it, and I just keep holding on to it. So I think I might finally say goodbye to it. This is from a brand called Gemma, and I got it when I first started my blog. I still love it so much. It's very ladylike and has like this vintage style. The color is also perfect and goes with everything. This is the same Teddy Blake bag that I shared earlier, except in pink. <laughs> I really love this one. Also took it with me to New York Fashion Week, and it was amazing. It's just such a pretty bag. This is another one of my very first Kate Spade handbags. I don't wear it as much as I used to, but I still love the color. I love all the scallop details, and I think I still want to keep it around in my closet. This is another handbag from Ori New York. It is the same style as the other one, except a little bit smaller and in a different color. It's in this beautiful, kind of like dark blush pink color very very pretty this is another kate spade handbag and i have worn this one so many times the color is really beautiful matches my sweater <laughs> and i really love the exaggerated bow it's just a really gorgeous handbag this is the only michael kors handbag i own but I really, really love it. It is um, kind of like a camera bag style. It is so old and so worn out, but oh my gosh, I still love it. It is kind of like my everyday casual bag. I got it in, I want to say, oh yeah, it was South Carolina whenever I went over there many years ago, <laughs> but I still love it. I'm going to keep it until it falls apart, probably. This is another Kate Spade handbag, and I believe I got this one last year. I really love the buckle 
with all of the um, details on here. It's very cute. The pink is really pretty. It's actually very different than the other buckle handbag that I have with the pearls. The pink is a little more brighter. This will be really pretty for spring and summer. This is from a brand called Charlie Stone Shoes, and I have a lot of their vintage inspired heels. So, um, yeah, those are in my shoe video. <laughs> but anyway, I was looking for a handbag that would go with my summer dresses, and I thought that this was perfect. I also got the regular kind of like basket bag version, um, and this one looks amazing as well. I think it has a really cute vintage vibe. This is an adorable strawberry handbag that someone sent to me. I don't know what the brand is, but it's really, really cute. I love um, handbags and accessories that are really fun and different. I have a lot of novelty handbags, as you'll see, <laughs> but this is really cute. I haven't really worn it that much though, so I'm not sure. This is a maybe. This is from Lauren Conrad years ago, and I really love the look of it. It's very different. I love the light gray. I think it's very feminine. However, it is brand new. I still have the tag. I have never used this. I have photographed it, but it's been years, and I keep it thinking that I'm going to wear it, but I just haven't, so I think that I'm finally going to say goodbye. And if you thought that was bad, <laughs> I also have it in this really pretty apricot color. And it is really cute, but it's also brand new and never used. I'm trying not to do that so much anymore. I really want to use, um, you know, everything that's in my wardrobe, or at least try to, so I think I gotta say goodbye to it. So this is a handbag from Wolf. It is a tiny little belt bag, wallet on a chain type of thing. You just put your cards in here and it's really, really cute. It's black, goes with everything. Um, they are the ones that design my jewelry boxes. So like the pink jewelry box that I have and the vault same brand. <laughs> this is an older Kate Spade handbag. It's really dainty and delicate, really tiny, but it is very cute and I still do use this one. I love the color and I think it's really adorable. This is another Kate Spade. My husband picked this one out for me. I think it is adorable. I love the pink tweed. There's a little bit of shimmer in there. It is really cute. Definitely one of my favorites. This is from Zach Posen. I really love the florals and the pearls and the color is just dreamy. This is a really beautiful spring handbag. I love it. This is Tory Burch and it has definitely seen better days. I do still really love it, but I used to wear it all the time and it kind of makes me sad because when I bought it, this was a very expensive handbag. It was on sale, but it was still expensive. And it wore out like really quickly along the edges. And I just feel like a nice handbag shouldn't do that. You know what I mean? So I don't know. That kind of made me a little sad, but I do still really like it, but I'm afraid to use it because I don't want to wear it out even more. This is another Lauren Conrad bag. I think it's really, really cute. I love the color. I love the rose gold detail, but... It's also brand new <laughs> and I kept holding on to it thinking that I would use it but I just never reach for it. I have a lot of pink handbags and usually I just reach for you know something else like the same handbags over and over but it is really cute so I don't know but I think I might go ahead and say goodbye. This is a pouch from Gigi New York and it's really cute. I love the light gray however I've had it for years and I have never really used it. <laughs> so it's cute, but I think I might, I don't know, this is a maybe, but I think I'm probably going to say goodbye. This is another cutie from Review Australia. I think it is adorable. I love the polka dot print, and this is actually a navy color. There's a little ruffle. So this one, I do have a dress that matches with it, <laughs> um, but I don't really wear this purse that often. I feel like I should wear it more. So this is a maybe. I feel like if I can find more opportunities to wear it, then I'll keep it. But if not, then I'll go ahead and get rid of it. This is from Rebecca Minkoff and it is really cute. It has these little like snowflake details and it's all beaded and it's just a really, really pretty handbag. Um, 
I really like it so I'm going to keep this one. This is my little Kate Spade pouch. It has some rose gold glitter and it's really really cute. I don't really wear this out as a bag and I haven't in the past but it is really cute. I think that I'm going to keep it and probably use it as like a little travel bag. This is from House of Want and it's really cute. This style of bag was really popular like last year and the year before. It's kind of like a fluffy marshmallow bag. Um, it is pretty trendy and even though I have like some interesting handbags, I feel like most of them lean a little bit more classic. So I don't know. This one's a maybe. This is a little handbag from Coach. My husband picked it out for me. It has this little tiny <laughs> handbag in the handbag. Um, it's really cute. I don't wear it that often, but I do really love it. And it has some sentimental meaning for me. This is from Teddy Blake. And you will see that I have quite the Ava collection. So this one is a really beautiful light blue. I do have a full review on the Ava handbags if you want to check it out. I will leave a link in the description box. This is the same handbag in a really beautiful lilac color. I do really love these. I wear all of them a lot, especially in the springtime. And this is the same handbag in blush pink, but I do wear this one year round. The color goes with everything and it's really, really beautiful. This is an older coach handbag. I really love the classic style and the color. I actually just started wearing this one more and more. And, um, I've really been loving how it looks with my outfits. It goes with everything. This is another Kate Spade handbag. It's really simple and cute. I really love the pink color. It's a nice, um, kind of like neutral pink that goes with everything. This is an oldie but goodie. I don't know how to pronounce the name. It's like I-N-G-E Christopher. It's really, really beautiful. It's kind of like a clutch handbag and I love the big bow. Um, this is a really great summer handbag. This is the same design as the pink Kate Spade that I just shared, but it's in a beautiful burgundy color. I really love wearing this one for the fall. This is another Teddy Blake. This is the Sophia style. It's very cute. It has a little chain strap and I love the pink croco on it. And we have yet another Kate Spade. <laughs> so this one has a beautiful white tweed fabric with some gold sequins. It's very cute and has a little bit of shimmer. This is one of my most used Kate Spade handbags. I use it all the time in the spring and summer. I think it is adorable. This is from a brand called Whitby and it is really beautiful. I love the color and the shape is really nice and classic but I haven't worn it that much so this is a maybe. I'm gonna try it on and see if I still like it. This is an oldie but goodie from GG New York. <laughs> so it has this really beautiful purple color and it is really pretty and I think it would be great for summer but I actually don't reach for it that much so I'm gonna try this one on as well and see what I think. It is a little bucket bag from Radley London and I do think it's really cute. I love the um, peachy pink color. It goes with a lot of stuff and I don't have very many casual handbags so I will probably keep this one on hand. This is a little vintage heart bag. It was gifted to me by my old boss. Uh, she was a doctor. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's really, really cute. I think it's adorable. I will probably keep it just because I like it. This is another Kate Spade and it is the same bag as the light pink one I shared earlier. This is black with gold dots. I do wear this one quite a bit, especially like during the winter, um, during the holidays, things like that. It's a really really cute bag. This is one of my older Kate Spade handbags. I love the robin egg blue, Tiffany blue type of color. I think it is beautiful. I love wearing this one in the springtime. This is one of my most worn Kate Spade handbags. I really love the little bow detail. I think it's very simple and very elegant and ladylike and it goes with pretty much any kind of outfit. This is a Rebecca Minkoff from many many years ago. I think it is absolutely stunning. I have never seen anyone else with this handbag. I don't wear it a lot but I do think it's very special so I'm going to keep it. This is my little tiny wolf crossbody bag. This is like a miniature bag and it just holds your phone and um, like all your cards and stuff and you can use it as a belt bag as well. And this is very similar but it's like a phone case holder <laughs> with a 
strap and it's really cute and I know I wasn't going to share anything like that but it just happened to be right here so yeah there you go <laughs> this is a Brahmin bag that I've had forever it's really really pretty and I've used it a lot but I do have a lot of black handbags now and before I didn't really so this one, um, I'm going to think about this one. Okay, so I just took a short break to organize some of the bags and put them back here <laughs> because they were all over the floor. But now I'm going to share um, some of the bags that have been in my closet or some that I keep in the box. This is my Dolce & Gabbana Miss Sicily bag and I will never part with it. <laughs> um, this was a really big kind of milestone um, gift to myself. It's really really beautiful and I think I'm gonna actually make a separate video on it so stay tuned. This is my Gucci Marmont bag and this is another one that I will never part with. This was my very first designer bag purchase and I just, I love it. It goes with everything. The color is beautiful. It's like a taupe um, rose color. And I might make a separate video on this one as well. This was a gift from Rebecca Minkoff. I went to her presentation in New York Fashion Week um, a few years ago, and they sent a bag for me to bring along. And I love the color. It's so much fun, and it has a lot of great memories attached. This is an older coach bag, and I used to wear it all the time, but I don't reach for it much anymore. It is a little um, on the larger side. Well, it's like more of a medium size, but it does look a little large on me. And yeah, I just haven't worn it in a while, so I think I might say goodbye to this one. This is an older one from Juicy Couture, and it was my very first kind of like designer bag purchase. And I just, I still really love it. I feel like I should keep it just for the memories. I've just been holding on to it all this time, so I'm not sure about this one. I will probably keep it though. This is a tote bag from Rebecca Minkoff, and this is kind of like my travel bag. So when I was a substitute teacher, this is the bag that I would use for work, but now that I'm not subbing, <laughs> I use it for travel, and it's been a really good one for me. I um, love the pink color. It goes with all my outfits, and it expands, so... You can actually fit quite a bit in here. This is another Rebecca Minkoff bag that I used to use as a work bag. It's really, really cute. I love all of the um, embellished details here, and I actually really love the color. I don't have a lot of brown, as you've noticed, but this is really pretty. I more than likely am going to keep this one for like travel or something like that. <laughs> this is another coach bag that I've had forever and I really love the color. It is on the larger side. I did used to use it a lot but it still looks pretty much brand new. I do think that I might part with it though. This is a tote from Lucky Brand and I have used it a few times for work and then I also took it with me on a cruise but other than that I haven't really used it. I'm just not really a tote kind of person but it is absolutely beautiful, pretty much brand new and I think I'm gonna go ahead and part with it. This is also Kate Spade and it was one of my older work bags. I really love the color, it goes with everything. I also really love the bow. It does have some wear on the bottom but otherwise it's really good condition. I'm not really sure because I do still really like this one. I'm not sure how many totes I need, but <laughs> um, I don't know. I may keep this one. We'll see. This is another really beautiful bag from Lauren Conrad. I love the pale pink color and the rose gold hardware. It's very cute, very pretty, and I really like it, and I've been keeping it all these years, but I've never actually used it. It's pretty much brand new, and it's just too big for me. So, yeah, I'm just not like a big bag kind of person, but I think I might try to give this one a new home. I took this bag to New York Fashion Week, and actually it is round. <laughs> it's just a little squished, but it's super, super cute, and I love the color. I love the little details on it. And I did wear it quite a bit, but I just don't reach for it much anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. This is a cutie from Grafea, and it is a really, really cute bag. I love the light gray color. I love the floral print. It is really beautiful. It's super roomy, and yeah, it's just really cute, but I just, I don't reach for it, and I haven't worn it that much because of the size. It is a little on the larger side for me. It's probably normal <laughs> for 
for a normal person. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. This is a little seashell handbag and I believe I got it from Amazon. It has these really cute little pearl details and it does have a strap, but the strap broke. I do still really like it and I wore a ton on vacation. So I'm going to try to fix the strap and... Yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> this is a little beaded handbag. This was actually a gift quite a while ago. It is very, very cute. I do love the beadwork, but I just don't find myself reaching for it. So I'm going to go ahead and let go of it. This is from Hammett, and it's a really beautiful kind of like gray white color it goes with a lot of stuff and I kept this as kind of like my casual crossbody bag but I just I don't find myself reaching for it much anymore it's absolutely beautiful and so soft and amazing quality but I think it's time for me to say goodbye I also have this tote it's really cute I love the color I love the giant bow but I haven't used it a lot. <laughs> and I don't know if it's just because I'm not a tote person, but I usually only use totes for like travel or when I need to carry a lot of stuff. I mean, I guess that's normal. So this one is a maybe. I will probably keep it, but I'm not really sure. This was sent to me years ago when I first started my blog. I don't even remember where it was from, to be honest, but I really love it. I think it's really unique and I love the beaded floral print. This is from Nina Shoes and it's a really cute ostrich feather handbag. It's beautiful. I use this one a lot, especially for my photos. I definitely have to keep it. This is a really beautiful pearl clutch. It was sent to me by one of my favorite brands as a gift and it's just really, really beautiful. I feel like it's totally my style. I use it a lot, especially for photos. I have had this one for years and it's really pretty. I love all of the sparkle and I do love that it has like a little place for your finger, but... For some reason, I don't know, I'm just not like a brown kind of person, so I feel like, I mean, I really love it, I think it's pretty, but I'm not sure that it's 100% me, so this one's a maybe, but I might get rid of it. I can't remember where this one is from, but I do love all of the sparkle and all of the, um, the colors. I love the pastels, the pink and the blue and a little bit of orange. Um, it's a very, very pretty. I don't really use it that much though, so I'm not sure. I do like it, but I don't know. <laughs> it depends on how much room I have. This was a clutch that came in one of my box of styles, and sorry, I have to angle it weird because the camera is kind of um, having a hard time focusing, but it is really pretty. I think it's very chic. They did have a white one, and I wish I would have gotten that one, but I do still really like this one. I think it's very pretty. This is an older beaded clutch from Anthropology. I think it is absolutely stunning. I used to wear it to holiday parties and things like that. I still do really love it, so I'm probably going to keep this one. This is another older Anthropology find, and I still love it so much. I've had it for many, many years, and I feel like this was my very first like nicer handbag purchase. It is really just stunning. I don't think that I will ever part with it. And this is another one that I don't think that I will ever get rid of. It's from Kate Spade. It's older. Um, it's this really gorgeous glittery clutch. It is just so, so beautiful. I've used it so many times and I still feel like it is very much my style. This is a modern day Whiting and Davis handbag. It is really, really beautiful. They actually sent it to me years ago and I do have quite the collection of vintage Whiting and Davis handbags bags so this was a very very special one it is so beautiful I love the 1920s inspiration this is from a brand called Etica and they mainly make jewelry but when I saw this handbag I could not pass it up it is really really beautiful it has this gold like shimmery um, material I forgot what it's called <laughs> and then some rhinestones it is a showstopper. Now I'm getting into my Mary Frances collection and novelty handbags. So I actually do have a full video of my collection from Mary Frances. I will link that for you in the description. Although some of these handbags are newer, so they may not be in there. <laughs> so this is actually a newer one. It was uh, in their holiday collection for last year, so just a few months ago. It's a beautiful star and it has this fringe detail. It's all beaded, absolutely 
stunning. This is a little crossbody. I absolutely love the floral print. I love the beadwork. It looks vintage and it's totally my style. It also has this little tassel, but <laughs> it's a little wavy, but it is really, really cute. They had a Disney collection and this is their Sleeping Beauty inspired handbag. It's really beautiful. I love the colors. I love the florals. The beadwork is outstanding. Just a gorgeous piece of art. This is one of my favorite Mary Frances handbags. It is beautiful, probably top three. I love it so much. It has all of these gorgeous florals and then you have this stunning beaded fringe and it also has like a little, um, I forgot what that clasp is called, but it has a vintage style to it. I think it's actually a wedding handbag, but weddings are kind of my aesthetic, I guess. <laughs> This is another gorgeous crossbody. I absolutely love the colors. I love the butterfly design. It's super feminine and girly and romantic and a little bit whimsical. Very, very pretty. This is another bag from their Disney collection. This was Beauty and the Beast inspired and it's very obvious, <laughs> but it is really, really gorgeous. I love this rose design. It's a very beautiful and actually pretty wearable handbag. I think it is so pretty. This is another one from their bridal collection. It's really beautiful. I love the giant bow, all the bead, all the sparkle. It's so glamorous, beautiful, totally my style. This is another evening handbag. I don't remember what the brand was. It's really, really cute. And I love all the pearls and the rhinestones. I I really haven't used this one, so this one is a maybe. I don't know. We'll see. This is another one that I forgot about, <laughs> but it is really beautiful. I love all the flowers and all the sparkle. I can't remember where I got it, but I do remember it was when I first started my blog. This is another one that I may keep. I may get rid of. I'm not quite sure yet. This is another stunner from Mary Frances. It has a heart and then you have some flowers as well. Lots of sparkle, lots of gorgeous beadwork. I do think this was part of their bridal collection as well. And I took this one to New York Fashion Week. I actually have taken a lot of these handbags to New York Fashion Week, the Mary Frances ones, because they are so unique and so different and they stand out and they are perfect for the occasion. This is probably my most worn Mary Frances bag. I am obsessed. So yes, it is just like the red rose, but this is the white version and I've had this one much longer. It is so, so beautiful. I've worn it with so many outfits, very wearable, very pretty. This is another handbag from their Disney collection. This was inspired by the Little Mermaid, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> it's really cute. It is so different. I've never seen anything like it. The colors are really beautiful. I love the subtle sparkle. I love this little fringe detail and I love the little pearls as well. When it comes to Mary Frances, this is probably my most prized possession. <laughs> it is so beautiful. This is the carriage from Cinderella, so part of their Disney collection. It's gorgeous. I have never seen anything like it before. Very pretty. I have taken it with me to New York Fashion Week as well. It's just a really beautiful, unique bag. Definitely a piece of art. This is also another one that I really love. I love the hummingbird design, the flowers, the stripes. It works together so beautifully and it's surprisingly wearable. This is also another one of my favorites. Again, top three. <laughs> I love it so much. I've worn it so many times. It's just beautiful. I love the flowers. These are 3D and they are absolutely gorgeous. I love this little, um, I forgot what it's called, like a little latch. It's a bird. Very, very pretty and just absolutely stunning. This is probably one of my most fun handbags. It reminds me of like 1950s, 60s, California, kind of like vintage -y summertime. I think it's so cute. This is my dream car. <laughs> I love the color. I love the design. I think it's really whimsical and fun. This is another favorite. I think it is adorable. It's a little pink poodle in the Eiffel Tower. It has a little Parisian inspiration. Super, super cute purse. I love the colors as well. This is another really fun handbag. I think I got it a couple years ago around New Year's Eve. It's very festive, very fun. This is definitely a holiday handbag. 
It's really, really cute and super festive. This is another favorite. It's a little bakery bag. There's some little cakes in there. I think it is adorable. I love the color and it actually goes with a lot of my outfits. So this is one of two of my very first Mary Frances handbags. I can't even remember when I first got it. It has to be like maybe five or six years ago. This is so cute. It is a camera and I just, I love it. I've worn it to New York Fashion Week so many times and I always get so many compliments. I've been photographed with it. It is really, really special. And this is the last one. So this is bag number two of my very first bags from Mary Frances. I love this bag so much. It's very edgy, especially for my style, but it has like a really high end designer look to it. Almost like, um, I don't know, but it is really, really beautiful. I've taken this with me to um, many, many fashion weeks and it's always a great conversation starter. Okay. So I am all done. I tried to organize all of the ones that I want to keep over here. So that's good. Only a couple on the floor. I'm going to try to see if I can do something about that. I also did color coordinate them. Probably give you a closer look later. Up here, um, I do have handbags in here. The hats, I got to do something about that because <laughs> it just looks kind of messy, but I don't want to deal with it right now. So these are more than likely the handbags that I am going to get rid of. So sell, consign, donate, give away. Um, they're all really, really pretty, but I just don't have room and it makes me so sad. So I have actually never counted how many handbags I have. Well, I counted <laughs> and there was 141. My mind is blown. I don't even know how I had room for all of them. Uh, right here, I think there's like a little over 30. And then I also have a pile of about 10 or so that are maybes. More than likely, I'm going to get rid of them just so I have some space. I want everything to look nice and clean and more organized. So this is my now newly acquired coat closet. <laughs> it used to be the closet for all of my um, tops and skirts, but I switched closets. Anyways, okay, so up here I did keep the larger handbags, and it's great because they were a little too big for my cubby anyway. And then in this one, um, for now I'm going to keep that one. I may change my mind, but it has my backpacks in it, and they're kind of flimsy, so yeah. All right, so... That is that. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you loved this video. And if you did, please make sure to hit the thumbs up below and don't forget to share and subscribe. I would love to have you as part of the community. And I would love to know, do you collect anything? Do you also love handbags? Are you currently doing a declutter of your own? Let me know in a comment below. And as always, if you want to see even more feminine content, make sure to check out my blog, Lizzie and Lace dot com and my pretty pink Instagram at Lizzie and Lace. I'll see you next time. Bye!